Hello, good afternoon. All right, I'm heading into the office to see clients. And you know what? I don't think I left my files, but I don't think I'm leaving files of anybody that I'm going to see right now. So let me charge my phone. Hello, my phone about to die. Okay, I'm gonna make this quick. <laughs> I say that every time and I never make it quick. So, good afternoon. I'm seeing folks come in. Good afternoon. Hello. And uh, if you want, you know, because it's up to you, if you want to share your first name in the city, state, or country that you are coming to me from, thank you. Ish Bats. So, let me, I think I'm back. There we go. My apologies. I don't know, y'all. Instagram Live has been given a time. <laughs> It's been giving me a time. I don't know what's going on. I know they're making a lot of changes on Instagram's platform. Um, Charlene from Los Angeles, hello. Thank you for joining me. Somebody from St. Louis, Missouri. Thank you for joining. Titan from Bama, thank you. Bree from Boston, thank you. Thank you for joining me. So this is for my fellas again. This is for my fellas. And remember, fellas, I was giving you all some advice on vetting women how to determine that a woman is good for you right so i'm gonna continue that discussion because i got more to say there's a lot more to say i'm gonna talk about some green flags and i'm gonna talk about some red flags okay uh and the things you need to avoid you need to avoid like the plague okay so that that way you stay out of foolishness with these modern women out here. All right. Okay. I lost your volume. Let me see. Uh, we got Monterey, Mexico. Can you hear me? Please let me know if you can hear me. It may get a little spotty. I don't know what it is about this, this road I'm on. It gets a little spotty. Uh, this is what I get for you know trying to do live from my car but this is the way i do it because you know i got stuff to do <laughs> okay but yes let me know if you can hear me so this is for thank you so much thank you so much for letting me know you can hear me but this is for my fellas and these are the things i want you to avoid okay with the women that you're interested in these are the things i want you to avoid these these things should make you go hmm <laughs> okay so the first thing, the first thing I tell men, the first thing, I say, look, Ishmael from Trinidad and Tobago, thank you for joining. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm getting a text, y'all. Um, but this is the first thing I tell men that I want you to try to find out about a woman. And y'all, women don't like this. They don't like when I tell men this, but it's find out what her relationship to social media is like okay that's the first thing you need to know okay what is her social media does she have more than one page because a lot of women do like it be blowing my mind how many pages women have I don't understand it I really don't I can't keep up with one page and they be having two, three, four pages. I want you to take note of that. And what are all these pages for? And some of them are public and some of them are private. That's the first thing you need to know. What is her relationship with social media? What is her Instagram page or pages? What is her Facebook page or pages? Twitter, uh, Snapchat, what else, TikTok? Okay, what is her relationship like with social media? That's the first thing a man should find out about a woman. Okay, that is going to give you a whole lot of intel. A whole lot of intel. Okay, can you follow her on the social media? To me, if you meet a woman and y'all been talking and you're like, hey, are you on Instagram? Hey, are you on TikTok? You know, can I follow you? And the answer is no. Or the answer is, well, I don't know you well enough, you know, because they're going to say a whole lot of, you know, creative answers. But at some point, you're going to ask to follow her on her social media. Okay? <laughs> 
And if you get pushback, pay attention. That's an answer for you right there. Okay, that's an answer for you. Something is happening on that social media that she don't want to clean up for you or don't want you to know. <laughs> so be very mindful. Be very, very mindful of the social media and what her relationship is like with the social media. How about this? I want you to determine when you all go on dates, when you hang out, what her relationship is like to her phone. How, you know, how much time is she spending on her phone? Is her phone getting pulled out on these dates? Is her phone getting pulled out in, in these hangout sessions? Pay attention, okay? That, that's not a hard one at all. All you have to do is observe. And a woman who treats her phone like that's her man, right? Who is very possessive, very much, you know, like that's what she loved because my grandfather always said that whatever we spend time and money on, that's what we love. So pay attention. All right. That's, that's the first thing. And women hate when I say it because they know it's the truth. They know it's the truth. Her relationship with social media and her relationship with her phone. That's, that's in 2022, that's 50% right there. That's 50% of everything you, you need to know about that woman right there. Right there. So pay attention, okay? You want to find out how she feels about marriage. You want to find out how she feels about um, children and having children and marriage and, and, and being a good wife, right? You want to find out about her faith life. Like these are the things that are going to tell you what this woman is truly about. See, we're asking questions. Just like I said in the last live, you asking questions that don't have nothing to do with nothing. They're not helping to determine her character. They're not helping, helping you to really see what she's about. And you spend so much time being beguiled by how good she looked and then asking these ridiculous questions that don't mean a thing. Okay, and, and then six months, nine months, a year later, you find yourself in a situationship or a relationship with a girl that's crazy, that can't cook, can't, you know, take care of her own home. Okay, let me go there. You need to observe how she manages her life. Like, I can't make this up. Observe how she manages her own life, right? Pays her bills keeps her home clean, keeps her car clean. Do her children look a mess? Like, I can't make this up. If you are dating this woman and her house is a mess, her life is a mess, her kids are a mess, her kids are unruly. Man, <laughs> they, they about to hate me. They about, these, these girls about to hate me, but I'm gonna say the truth. If that woman's children are unruly and undisciplined and disrespectful, okay, you good, you good. That's, that's enough for you because it's something she not doing with these kids. She not raising her kids. She not disciplining her kids. I play no games when it comes to my children, none. They know I run a tight ship. I am not their friend. I'm not their little friend. They know that. They like, uh-uh, mama don't play, okay? And the two men that I have dated since my divorce, like, they will tell you, okay? I don't, thank you, Zip76. Thank you for buying a badge, sweetheart. Thank you. I'm driving, so I'm trying to see, but thank you so much, sweetheart. Hey, Falana, how are you? So, the two men that I have dated, you know, since I've been divorced, they know I play no games. They're, they'll tell you. Oh, I never had to say nothing to Anita about her kids, okay? And no, because Anita don't play those games. I sure don't. I sure don't. Uh-uh. You are not going to disrespect me. You're not going to disrespect another adult that I know. That ain't going to happen. Okay? So my kids, uh-uh, they know what time it is. And that's what's funny about men saying, oh, I don't want to marry a single mom. You know, that whole, that whole rhetoric is going around. No, you don't want to marry a single mom that ain't handling her business. That's what you don't want to do. You don't want to marry a single mom that's not disciplining her children. That's what you don't want to do. You don't want to marry a single mom that's not holding that other man accountable. 
that's not making him check play child support and not making him uh help raise his kids that's what you don't want to do but for those of us out here that we're handling ourselves and our business and we're holding that man accountable and we're doing what we're supposed to do with our kids oh you good baby <laughs> you good you couldn't have a better woman on your team okay so hear me well it's not all the single mothers let's not go there okay let's not go there it's the it's the single mothers that are not handling their business that's who you don't want to be with it's the single mothers who are not disciplining their kids who are not holding the man they had the kids by accountable not getting child support from him not having him visit okay it's them can't manage their life those are the ones you don't want nothing to do with i don't play those games I don't play I don't play those games like I said I don't have disciplinary problems because you know the, the men the two men that I've dated no no they was like mm -mm, Anita's they, they were afraid to tell me if my child was doing something they shouldn't be doing they was afraid for the child's life they like man I want to tell your mama but I know how she is like nah I don't play those games okay my house is in order in more ways than one and hers should be too and this whole saver, you know, the saver that y'all got going on, you want to put on the Captain Saver, you know, you want to try to rescue single mothers or rescue women that are a mess. And it's some of y'all out there, it's some men out there that have that condition. That if the woman's, the messier the woman's life is, the more you want to be with her. Because you want to save her. You want to, you know... You want to come in like Prince Charming and think you're going to turn her whole life around. And you know what's going to happen? She's going to drag you down to the depths of the ocean. So please heal that wound. If you have that wound in your life, I need you to heal that wound in your life. Okay, this idea that you're going to save these messy women, these women that don't want to be saved. These And let me tell y'all, I, I, I done heard the stories. Oh, wait a minute, I got a comment I'm going to go back to. Uh, that's just how she was. Her house was a mess, but dressed like a celebrity, didn't cook, but walked her adult daughter's dog every morning. Oh, no, no. See, dad, no. No, that's what we ain't doing. No. No. All you have to do is pay attention. Pay attention. If her car is dirty, if her house is dirty, okay, if her kids are unruly, that's telling you everything you need to know everything you need to know right there okay so this saver uh, this sa captain saver uh, that y'all got going on that oh you know i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to improve her life and you know anita told me to lead no not like that not like that <laughs> like, that's not what i'm talking about okay and i didn't heard the stories y'all i didn't heard the stories from men oh and she was coming out of an abusive situation and her last man was abusive and then the husband did this and, and she done sold you this she done sold you this story and you done ate it up hook line and sinker leave her alone anybody coming to me with a story like that that don't tell me to date them that tell me to leave them alone for a period of time what I look like coming in after some messiness like that? No, brothers, no. No, that that shouldn't tug on your heartstrings. That's, that should make you go, uh-oh, you know, like I need to leave her alone. You need some time to get yourself together. You trying to date me, that, that's not going to help situation. And if anything, it's going to hurt me. That's what it should tell you. But a woman should not be full of mess. And here you come. Oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to get all the praise and I'm going to feel all good for doing. No, leave them alone. These are women that don't want to be saved. Nope. Nope. But y'all, social media, <laughs> that's the first one. Relationship with the phone. Okay. Observe their life. Can they manage their life? If you've been dating a woman for a month and her light's about to get turned off, run for the hills. Run away. Okay, I don't know how else to say that. Run away. All right? That woman cannot manage her own life. And she should at least be able to do that. Because remember, if the intention is for you all to come together, that thing should get better, not worse. One of y'all shouldn't be dragged down by the other one of y'all. Okay? But mm -mm, if her life is messy, if her kids are messy, 
if her friends are messy oh let's talk about that okay and y'all don't want to hear this I, you don't want to hear this we are the sum total of the five closest people that we hang out with so look at her friends look at the friends look what they doing look who they dating look where they working look like look at their life and their lifestyle like that's what you're getting okay that's what you are getting and these women who have these messy friends, these cheating friends, you know, these friends, right? And then they try to tell you, oh, you know, that's not me. I'm not here. What, well, what you got in common with her? What you got in common with this girlfriend that's cheating on her man? Tell me. Make it make sense. Like, no, I have nothing in common with any woman who's out here actively running around on her man. I don't want nothing to do with her. I have let women go for less. And what I look like, having this girlfriend as my friend, talking to her on the phone, going on girls trips. No, no, stop, please don't buy that. But look at her friends, like seriously, and the messiness in their life. And trust me, that's going to be you. You're going to be in that messiness real soon. But it's the truth. It's the truth. And people don't want to hear it, but it's the truth. Look at the people that's closest to her. Look at, you know, what, what they into, what they about. Yeah, that's what you're getting. You're getting a little bit of that. Okay? Just, just keep your eyes open. All right. Finally, I want you to pay attention to what she is consuming. Pay attention to if she watches reality television, if she watches a whole lot of television, period, if she is not active, if she does not read, if she does not listen to something, audio books or something that's going to improve her life. Okay, check out her mindset. Is her mindset a broke mindset? Is it a limiting belief mindset? Is it a that's so hard mindset? <laughs> like, I have a friend that's dating a woman. Oh, that's so hard. I'm not going to be able to do that. And that's so hard. Every five seconds? No. No. That, uh-uh. Uh-uh. You're not going to get the support you need. You're not going to get, you know, y'all having the same goals and dreams and on the same path. You're going to get somebody that you're going to drag along. That's what you're going to get. You're going to get someone that you got to drag wherever you're going. See, he said, uh, now we get into the real stuff. Yeah. That mindset is everything. That mindset is everything. That negative, limiting belief mindset, broke mindset, it's so hard mindset. Like, I'll be, I'll be paying attention. I'll be paying attention to people. When they be saying stuff like that, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> like, I'm going I'm to leave you right here. I'm going to leave you right here because I, I can't have that around me. I just can't. Okay? I got things I want to do and places I want to go, and I can't have these weights around my neck. But pay attention to their mindset. Pay attention to, uh, I'm watching TV. I'm, 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 I'm sitting down for hours and hours doing these, what is it, the binge watching the shows for hours. You ain't got nothing else to do. You ain't got nothing else to learn. For real. <laughs> like, that's what you're doing with your time. And, ooh, they gonna be mad. Okay, they gonna be mad about this, but I'm gonna say it. <laughs> A woman who has a job, right? She have a full-time job. And let's say, I don't know, that job is just like, you know, working at a bank or something, right? And she worked there eight to five. What else is she doing? What else is she doing with the rest of her time? What else is she doing with the rest of her life? It's a whole lot of women out here that don't have nothing else going on. They ain't about nothing. They don't have no interests, no hobbies, no friendships. They, they not, they just, they not on nothing and they going to go to work and then they going to come home and then they going to worry you to death. <laughs> like that's how that's going to go. So if you about something, right? If you're a man that's on something, you got dreams, you got goals, or you have hobbies, you have interests, you have friends, you have things that you're doing and you get with her again, that's going to be a weight around your neck because she worked and that's it. She ain't about improving herself. She not about, you know, exercising. She not about, oh, let me volunteer. Let me, you know, let me volunteer with the homeless. Let me go to the food bank. Let me, you know, let me be on this or that, you know. Or oh, I like to exercise. I'm in this, you know, I take these cycle classes or I do hot yoga or, you know, she got to have something that she doing. 
Because again, this is what makes a comprehensive, a complete woman. A complete woman has, has many things in her life. She folds you into her life. You fold her into yours. But you're not her source of entertainment. And I'm seeing too many women, and they're they say it to me. Well, you know, I just, you know, Anita, I just, you know, I want, I want to get with somebody that got something going on, and I want to get with somebody that's going to entertain me, and they going, they going to bring the social circle, and they going to bring. I'm like, but why, why they got to do that for you? Why can't you do that? Why can't you do that for yourself? Like, no, I, I have my thing going on. I'm happy to fold a man into my thing, but I got a thing. <laughs> okay, I got a thing to fold him in too. Okay, so mm -mm, mm -mm, just be wary of that. And I know, the, like I said, the women gonna hate me, but it's the truth. It's the truth. It's a lot of women out here that they're just not interesting. They're just not interesting. They don't have nothing to talk about. They don't have nothing going on. They not about anything. And it's just like that uh, that's, that saying that says like small people, they talk about small things and then, you know, the, and then they talk, small people talk about people, right? And then the medium people, they talk about what they talk about. <laughs> and then the, 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 the big minded people, like they talk about ideas and concepts and goals and dreams. So you want one of them. You don't want a small person that just, you know, sit around and talk about people, sit around and talk about TV sit around and talk about celebrities, right? That, no, she should, because let me tell y'all something. Women that are obsessed with celebrities, it's the saddest thing ever because it's like, you're so worried about them and it's like, you're watching them live their dreams. These celebrities out here are living the dream, right? They got the money, they have the fame, they're, they're in their purpose, which is whatever their thing is, they're, they're about something and you're simply watching them. You're simply watching them be about something. No, no, I'd rather be about something, right? I'm, I'm in my lane, I'm doing me. And see, when you're doing that, you don't have time to watch other people doing them. I don't have that kind of time. I don't watch television. And people say that all the time. Oh, did you see this? Or did you know this happened in the news? I don't watch television. I certainly don't watch the news. I get my stuff from people sending it to me I get my news from my mama calling me. That's it. You know, if the if the world blow up tomorrow, my mama gonna tell me about it. Like that's that's my motto. I don't watch the news. I don't have time. I don't watch reality TV. I don't have that kind of time. Anita needs to grow. Anita needs to work on her mindset. Anita needs has personal goals that she needs to be working on. Okay, I got I got content to create. I create. I don't consume. But you need to know the difference between a woman who consumes, who buys, who watches, who sits around and, and just consumes, 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 and a woman who creates. And remember, creation is not just about making money. There are lots of things that I create. I create smiles. I create good feelings in people's hearts. I create love. I create joy. I bring the funny right? I bring the encouragement. That's what I create. So it's not just about money. I don't want you to get it twisted. Creation is not just about money. Creation is about the ability to add value. And that's what we're not seeing. We're not seeing people, women, we're talking about women right now. We're not seeing women add value. They're simply consuming they're sitting down and consuming social media. They're sitting down and consuming television. They're buying things. And they're obsessed with buying things. Like, may, oh my God, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. And I don't know how women do it. I don't know how some women do it, how they keep up with all of these expenses. Like, I don't have that kind of time. I don't have that kind of funds to be putting toward that. Like, I be having the funds, but I put it toward investing. I put it toward something else. But... It just blows my entire mind that you have that kind of time and funds and energy for that. And what I'm telling people is work on this, work on this, okay? Put that time and energy into your mind, into your heart and your soul and your spirit, being the best person you can be, 
right? Being a person of integrity and character, fellas, that's what you look for. But see, if you stay stuck on the outside, you stay stuck on how good she look, how good her hair and nails and everything look good, what's inside? What's inside of her? Okay, that should be shining to the outside of her. But beware, okay, like I said, beware. I'm talking to the men right now. There are some women out there that bring no value to your life and will destroy whatever you trying to create, okay? So be aware. Do not be beguiled by the outside, okay? Go deeper, go deeper, all right? Now for the fellas out there, and they've, they've been DMing me, well, I ain't looking to get married and marriage is antiquated and I ain't trying to do that. Okay, well, guess what? My, my platform ain't for you, okay? I'm, a, I'm on that people getting married tip. And I would like to see how we could change the legislation, change the family law. We got to do something. But that's what I'm on. Like, you're not going to change my mind about that. I'm on that, you know, y'all need to get married. You need to build something. But I'm also on, you need to choose the right person. You need to pick the right woman. You need to be on the same page about the ultimate goal, which is creating something, creating relationship satisfaction, creating cho healthy children, creating a happy home. You have to be on the same page about that. So if you meeting a woman and she loved the idea of the title and the wedding and the dress and all of that, you not on the same page. She more worried about that than these other goals, right? She not, she not thinking about you. Can I be honest? She thinking about how this going, you know, validate her. How this going, you know, everybody like, ooh, girl, ooh, you did. Oh, and y'all went here. You did this? No. Marriage is too long. It, it's too long to be worried about that one day. It is. So, but you have to choose better. Marriage as an institution is not broken. It's people. <laughs> it's the people getting in these marriages. It's one or the other or both. And somebody didn't know how to pick somebody else. And then you done found yourself in a predicament. So choose better. Use some of this knowledge. Use these skills to choose better because nobody talks about that. They love to talk about, they love to spout statistics. And y'all know I like statistics. I like data. But y'all love to talk statistics. You love to talk about 80% of women are, you know, initiating divorce. And like, that's where the conversation stop. You don't, you don't go any further than that. And you just use that to stay in a limited mindset. Oh, marriage don't work. Marriage don't work. No, the people in it are broken. The people in it are wounded. The people in it did not share the same goal. Okay? So, don't do that. Don't do that. Like, I'm not going to stand for it on my page. It's not about marriage. It's it, Yes, family law is an issue. I can, I, can, I can give you that. There are some issues with family law. But marriage? No. It's the people. It's the people. It's like me getting in this car and mishandling this car or not changing the oil and the, and the engine lock up. And I'm, oh, these darn cars, oh, these, these Hondas, they suck. You know, I'm not going to do this. this. The Honda, no, 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 it's me. It's me, okay? I don't know how to handle my vehicle. And that's a lot of y'all. If we being honest, that's a whole lot of y'all. All right, I got to get going. When going to couples therapy, is there anything we should look for? Well, number one, what I require of my couples is that they be radically honest. Radically honest. Like they are not allowed to hold back, press down, no. And you know what? Sometimes I start that off. I start it off. I tell them what I see. I tell them what I intuitively feel about the relationship. I sure do. And look, the second I say something that hit a nerve, then the other person just pop, they pop right open. They like, yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> so sometimes it's me. Sometimes it's me that's radically honest. And I say, you know, you know what I, you know, you know what the spirit is telling me? You know what my intuition is telling me? That this is this and that and this and that. And then look, if it's the truth, one of them go, that's exactly right. That's how I be feeling. See? So sometimes I got to lead that charge. Radically honest. 
Stop holding back. Stop withholding the truth. Stop withholding how you really feel. Because there's a lot of people not getting better in couples therapy because they're not honest. They're not honest with themselves or each other. So please be radically honest. Okay, it says, will you merrily walk to the street with me? Okay, I'm not sure what that is about. Okay, but be honest. Be, be radically honest. Uh, do you accept insurance? At this time, I'm in the state of Virginia. I do accept, accept Blue Cross Blue Shield. But as of February 1st, I will no longer. So as of February 1st in my practice, I will no longer accept insurance. I have thought about that for three years now. And I have made that decision that I will no longer accept any form of insurance as of next February. Okay, I have my reasons for that. Trust me, they're good reasons. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a whole lot. I wish we had this forum before I married into the red flags. Yeah. But you know what? Now you got to be radically honest, right? That's all you got. I can't tell you how many married folks say that to me. Oh, I wish I had met you before I got married. Or I wish I had met you in the first year of my marriage. But you know what? It's still hope. And guess what that hope is? Radical honesty. Radical honesty. Bravery. Courage. The courage to say how you really feel. The courage to reach out and get help. There is still a lifeline out there available to you. You just have to be brave enough to reach for it. You have to be brave enough to say the truth, to say how you feel, okay? So it's not over, but y'all don't want to be radically honest. That's the problem. Like, y'all don't want to be radically honest. You'd rather come in my DM and tell me all about it than tell your spouse. So that uh -uh, that's not a marriage I want to be in. I'm not going to somebody, you know, I'm going to my spouse, and then if my spouse still ain't, you know, they're not responding, we, we going to somebody. But be radically honest. It's, it's shocking to me that in this day and age, people don't know how to do that. And again, you notice I didn't say brutally honest. You ain't got to be nasty. You ain't, you ain't got to say it in a way to hurt somebody's feelings. Be radically honest. Be brave enough to be honest. It's crazy hard to be radically honest settings like that but you're right but you have to have the courage to do it and the truth is it, it ain't gonna get better <laughs> can I just say that it ain't gonna get better and I'm asking you to do it that only work works if both persons are being honest right no it, it all the only person I can control is me and Anita gonna be honest Anita gonna bring the honest out of you because I'm gonna show up that way now the other person may not and then maybe that's information that you need but just focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. Uh, just Falana bought a badge. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I appreciate you. All right. I am. Any more comments? No, we're good. I am running in because I have an appointment at one o'clock. Uh, so I am running into the office to get kind of settled and prepared for that. But fellas, if you're coming in on the end of this live, I want you to watch the replay. Okay. I gave away, okay, for the record, I gave away for free. These are the tips. These are the tools that I give to coaching clients. And I just gave you this game in this live. So please go back and watch it. But it ain't hard. It really is not. And I tell women the same thing. It's not hard. It's not hard. I don't know why you keep telling me this. Oh, it's so hard. No, it's not. No, it's not. You just got to apply what I'm telling you. But it's not hard to find good women out here. It's not hard to find good men out here. Y'all just don't want to apply what I'm telling you. You want to take the person that's not good for you, and then you want to fall in my DM and, and want me to wave my magic wand over them and make them know it don't work that way. What do I say? As soon as you find out things that don't fit, you leave them alone. If it don't fit, you quit. <laughs> like, and I'm not talking marriage. I'm talking about these people you trying to vet for dating. Okay, if they don't fit, you quit. That's how that's supposed to work. But see, y'all don't want to do that. Then that's why you got problems. But anyway, that's that's for another live. All right, y'all, thank you so much to everyone who purchased a badge on this live. I cannot thank you enough. I don't even have words to express how honored I am to be able to come on here and talk to people all over the world. It truly is my ministry 
It's the reason why I exist. It's the reason why God put me here every single day. God keeps revealing new things to me, uh, new ways in which I'm going to start touching people. And I'm honored. I am truly, truly honored. I'm on my journey. I'm on my own personal journey, just like all of you, right? I'm on the search to find my person. I'm on the search to find my forever person. So I still got work to do. I still got work to do, but I'm going to save this live. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, stay open to love.